In this module, we're going to look at how we use the budget to control operations. And we're now a budget control means of a many different budget reports. Each report is comparing the actual results with the planned objectives. And in this way, management gets feedback as to how well we are doing. And they analyze management's role here is to analyze the difference between the actual results and the planned results. Now, we have developed the budget. We are in now the budget year, and we're collecting actual data. So the budget reports basically are comparing the actual data to the budgeted data. And that gives management what they need to determine if they have to take corrective action and modify budget plans. Now, each report is formal. A formal report identifies the name of the report, the frequency of the report, the purpose of the report, and who is to receive it. For example, a sales report would be produced weekly, determining whether sales have been met. And of course, that would go to the top management and the sales manager. A labor report, again, produced weekly, and the purpose of the report is to compare the actual direct and indirect labor costs to the estimated or budgeted direct and indirect labor costs. And that will go to the production manager. We would also have departmental overhead costs, maybe monthly control of overhead. And that would go to the individual department managers. So you see, as a manager, you will get a budget control report um, for the area that you are responsible in. Now, they're comparing the actual results to the budget. We must realize, though, the budget is uh, a projection at one particular level of activity, and therefore it is referred to as a static budget. It hasn't changed. And when we use it in budgetary control, each budget included in the master budget is considered to be static. The sales budget, the production budget, direct labor budget, overhead budget, and so on. So if we compare actual results with the budgeted data and the actual results are at an activity level used in the master budget, then we get something like this. It would work well if I'm talking sales. So here I have the budgeted and actual sales data for right tide. And the budgeted amount in the first quarter was 180,000. The actual was 179. So there's a variance, a difference, which we call a variance of 1,000. In the second quarter, we had estimated a budgeted amount of sales of 210 and we achieved 199.5. So again, we have a difference of 10,500. And we would total that for the two quarters. So in the language of management now, the sales report for Hayes Company by product line shows the budget and the actual and the difference between the budget and the actual 1,000. That's a variance, and we now indicate if that variance is favorable or unfavorable. Well, obviously, we did not achieve our budgeted goal of 180,000. So it would be looked upon as being unfavorable. But on the other hand, we're estimating sales. We came pretty close within 1,000 on 180,000. So, Percentage-wise, we are not out that much. In the second quarter, though, when we look at it, we had a budget a goal of 210. We came in at 199.5. Well, this variance is 10,500. And if you take 10,500 as a percentage of 210, you are pretty close to a 5% variance. And that's an unfavorable variance. Now, that means that this variance is significant. There must be a reason why we're out 10,005. And therefore, we would, as a manager, investigate that or 
in a report, report back to senior management, why we have a 10,500 unfavorable variance. So when we use that to compare sales, it's appropriate in the level of output. It's appropriate for fixed costs, but it's certainly not appropriate for variable costs. Flexible budget is what we need when we're looking at the different levels of activity. Budgetary process is more useful if it's adaptable to changes in operating conditions. Essentially a series of static budgets at different activity levels. That's what a flexible budget is. And it can be prepared for each type of budget in the master budget. Why flexible budgets? Well, let's look at this example. We have Barton Robotics static budget for production manufacturing overhead uh, at production level of 10,000 units. So, the budgeted cost, indirect materials, 250, indirect labor, 260, utilities, uh, 190, um, depreciation, property taxes, and supervision. So there's our budgeted costs. Now we have the actual for that time period. And the actual comes in Indirect materials, we spent 295,000. So we have a 45,000 unfavorable variance. Indirect labor, we spent 312, we estimated 260. So we have a 52,000 unfavorable variance. Utilities, a 35,000 unfavorable variance. Depreciation is right on. Property tax is right on. Same with supervision. So what is going on? If this is an evaluation of the manager of this department, then it appears he did not do a very good job. However, you will notice that that unfavorable variance is 12% over budget. But we are comparing budget data at 10,000 units, which is the original activity level. And that is not relevant for evaluating performance because the actual activity was 12,000. And therefore, at 12,000, the direct materials and other variable costs would be more than we budgeted at 10,000. So the variable costs increase with production, but the fix do not. So therefore, to create a flexible budget, we look at how that budget was developed for the 10,000 units. Well, if the total cost for 250,000 for indirect material at 10,000 units, therefore on a per unit basis, it would have been $25 a unit. Indirect labor would have been 26 and utilities 19. So now let's redo the budget with the budgeted activity level of 12,000 units and therefore we come up with a, uh, an amount for indirect materials of 300,000 for indirect labor of 312 and so on. So we develop that flexible budget by identifying the activity level, identifying the variable costs and determining the budget variable cost per unit of activity, identify the fixed costs and then prepare the budget at increments within a relevant range. For example, what we would do with this at 12,000, the budget you see was 295, uh, I'm sorry, the new budget was 300, the actual is 295. Therefore, they did not spend as much as we thought they should have at that activity level. And therefore this variance is favorable. Indirect labor, right on, no variance. Utilities, again, favorable. We spent less than we estimated. And therefore, we have an 8,000 favorable variance. The fixed costs are exactly as we thought. So you can see this manager actually did a pretty good job in managing the costs. Here's another case study. Fox Company Management uses a flexible budget for monthly comparisons of actual and budget manufacturing overhead costs of the finishing department. The master budget for the year ending December 31st shows the expected operating income 
uh, operating capacity at 120,000 direct labor hours. And so we have variable costs, 180 in direct labor, 240, utility 60,000, fixed cost as follows. So the four steps in developing the flexible budget, identify the activity index, and that is direct labor hours, 120,000. Relevant range between 8,000 and 12,000 per month at 120 is an annual amount. Identify the variable costs. Well, for the year, indirect materials estimated to be 180,000 on 120,000 direct labor hours. So therefore it's $1.50 per direct labor hour. Indirect labor, $2 and utilities, 50. So now, we look at the fixed costs, the three fixed costs, and they have nothing to do with activity, so they should be the same. And we prepare based on increments of a thousand. So here we would produce four flexible budget, one at eight thousand, and the variable cost, the fixed costs would remain the same, one at nine thousand, one at ten thousand and one at 11,000. So there we have the flexible budgets already prepared. Now we wait to see what the actual amount is for the year and then we compare the total cost to that amount. Fox uses a formula below to determine the total budgeted cost. Fixed cost plus variable cost is the total budgeted cost. Determine the total budget cost for Fox Manufacturing Company. Fixed cost of 30, total variable cost of 4 per unit. Therefore, the variable cost, if the activity is that, would be that. If the activity is 8,622, then the total cost would be that. Now, the flexible budget reports on a monthly basis. Uh, production data and the cost data. And so therefore, here's an official budget report. The budget level has been calculated now at the actual output level of direct labor hours, 9,000. And so the actual was 14,000 for indirect material. The budget was 13,500. The difference, 500, is unfavorable. And direct labor, that difference is in favor of the company. Uh, utilities, again, unfavorable. And therefore, uh, 400 unfavorable on the variable costs. Now, 400 as a percentage of 36,000 is not very significant. So there's nothing that what I would look at here. So, a labor company expects to produce 40,000 units of product during the current year. Budgeted variable manufacturing costs per unit are direct material 6, direct labor 5, and overhead 24. Annual budget fixed is 120,000 for depreciation and 60,000 for supervision. In the current month, Lawler produced 5,000 units and incurred the following, indirect materials, indirect labor, variable over it, and those are actual. So what we do now is we compare the budget, and the budget at $6 times 5,000 should have been 30,000, and the direct labor should have been 75, and total variable cost 225. Fixed would be that. The actual comes in, 33.9. So we are 3,900 unfavorable. Direct labor, 74,002. We're 800, or 800 favorable on direct labor. And utilities, again, were unfavorable by 500. So in total, I have an unfavorable variance of 3,600. And that compares the actual to the budget. Now, as far as the fix goes, everything was controlled. So how well did they do? Well, the report indicates that the actual direct labor was only about 1% different from the budget. 
and the overhead less than a half a percent different. So both appear to be well controlled. The direct materials though were 13% unfavorable and therefore we should look into that as management. Of course there were no variants with the fixed costs. And so that's how we re prepare budget control reports on the management of each department.